Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Okay guys, welcome back. I will add the vector link and project file link in my description below. You can check it from there. So firstly, let's start looking with background. Let's click to here. And let's start to give animation to these buildings. For that, I'm gonna use an effect. So firstly, let's check these buildings and go to FX presets and let's search for repeat tile and double click to it. And let's increase the expand, right? Let's make it like this. Let's make it 5000 and select this building, press P, make position keyframe. Let's go to the end and let's move it like this to here. Let's see it. Okay, and then let's select this road line and let's do the same for it. Let's set the reptile and change the expand right size. Let's make it like this. Let's see. Okay, let's make a position keyframe. And let's go to the end. Let's change the expand right. Let's make it 10,000. And let's move it like this. Let's see. Okay, maybe let's change it to 20,000 to make it more speedily and change the position again. Okay, let's see. Nice. Now let's start to give animation to our cars. So for that, let's select this car body and let's go to solo and go to pan behind and let's move the anchor point to the here and go to on solo and let's select this car body too. Let's go to solo and move the anchor point to the down. Let's go down solo. Okay, now we can start to give animation to our cars. So I'm gonna use the null object for moving the cars. Let's create the first one, right mouse here, go to new and click to null object. And let's rename it to controller one. Let's move it to the down to here somewhere. Okay. And select this controller and let's move it to here and hold control, double click to pan behind to move the anchor point to the center. Now select this car body, wheel one and wheel two. Let's link them to controller. And also let's select this window and window reflection. Let's right mouse here and go to pre-compose. And let's rename it to window. And click OK. And double click to here. And then let's click to region of interest. Let's select it like this. And go to composition and click to crop come to region of interest. Ok nice. And now we can start to give animation to it. But for that let's select this window and let's duplicate it and let's move it to the up. And select this reflection, change alpha matte to window 2. Let's select this reflection and press S. Let's change the scale a little bit like this. Okay. And select this reflection, press P, make position keyframe. And a little bit, let's change the scale again. Let's move it to the right now. Okay, and go to 10 keyframe. Let's move it to the left. Select keyframes, let's make them easy. Ease. Let's see. Okay, nice. Now let's go to the last keyframe and press N and let's select these layers and right mouse again and click to pre-compose and let's rename it to reflection and click OK and select this reflection. Let's go to the edit and click to split layer and let's delete this layer. Now let's change the duration and select this reflection. Let's paste for here. Okay, now let's back to our main composition and select this window. Let's move it to here. Okay, and select the window. Let's go to pen tool because as you see, there's some problem. And let's select this area like this. And select this window and press M and click to invert it. Let's see now. Okay, nice. Now select this window as well, let's link it to car body. And select this wheel one, press R, let's make a rotation keyframe. And go to the end, let's change the rotation to 20, like this. Let's see. 
okay and select the wheel too and press r let's make rotation for it as well and go to the end let's change this one to 20 as well and select these wheels let's enable the motion blur let's see now okay nice let's close these layers now let's create a new null object for the police car so right mouse here go to new and create a null object and let's rename it to controller2 and let's move it to here somewhere okay and select this null object let's move it to here and hold control double click to pan behind again to move the anchor point to the center and select this wheel 3 and wheel 4 let's link it to controller and also car body 2 let's link it to controller and select this car siren let's link it to car body now let's do the same for this car window let's pre-compose it rename it to window 2 let's double click to here to go to here and select the region of interest like this and go to composition click to crop come to region of interest okay nice let's duplicate these windows again and move to the up select these reflections go to track mat and click to alpha mat the windows too okay now select this reflection press s let's change the scale a little bit uncheck here and let's change this one let's see okay a little bit more like this okay this is good now now let's go to here select this reflections press p make position keyframe and let's move it to the right and go to 10 keyframe with holding shift and page down and let's move it to the left now select keyframes let's make them easy and select these layers right mouse go to precompose and let's rename it to reflection 2 okay let's select this layer go to edit again and click to split layer or you can press ctrl shift d and let's delete this part now select this reflection press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's move it to the right like this okay let's go to back main composition and select these windows let's move them to here so it matches okay and select this window too, let's link it to car body. Let's see. Okay, nice. And select this wheel 3, let's press R, make rotation keyframe. And select the wheel 4 as well, let's make the rotation keyframe for it as well. And go to the end, let's make it 18, and this one as well. And enable the motion blur for that. Let's see. okay nice now it's time to make an animation for the cars so let's select this controller one press p make position keyframe let's move it to here and go to first second let's move it to the right and let's go somewhere to here let's move it to the back and let's make a random keyframes for it go to here let's move it to the back again and to here let's move to here and move to the back and go to here let's move it to here and go to the last keyframe let's move it like this now select keyframes let's make them easy or you can press f9 for that and right mouse again go to keyframe interpolation and change out to bezier to linear and click ok let's see okay nice now let's do the same for controller 2 let's press p and let's move it to the back like this let's zoom a little bit and move to here okay and let's make a position keyframe let's move it to here and go to there Let's move it to the right. And go to here. Let's move it to the back and a little bit to the up. And go to here. Let's move it like this. And a little bit to the down. And go to here. Let's move it to the back and go this second 
Let's move like this. And go to the last keyframe. Let's move it to the back. Now select keyframes. Let's make them easy. And right mouse again. Go to keyframe interpolation. And change the auto bezier to linear. Click OK. Let's see it. Okay, and then let's go to somewhere to here and set this carceran. Let's go to FX presets and let's search for glow and let's double click to it. Okay, now let's make a glow radius keyframe and press U to see the keyframes. Let's change it to zero firstly and go to 10 keyframe. Let's change it like this. Okay, let's make it 80. And go to 10 keyframe again. Let's select the first keyframe, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Select keyframes, let's make them easy. And let's hold out and click to here to make a loop expression. And click to display button, go to property and click to loop out. And click to here. Let's see it. Okay, nice. Also, let's go to here and go to FX presets. Let's search for fill and let's drag and drop it to carceran. Let's change the red color like this and click OK and make a color keyframe. Let's go to here and press U. Press U again. OK. And let's change the color to blue. And click OK. Now select keyframes. Let's make them easy. And let's go to 20 keyframe like this and select the first keyframe, press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Now let's hold out and let's make a loop expression for this color as well and click to here and go to play button, go to property and click to loop out. Let's click to here. Let's see. Okay, nice. And let's make a rotation keyframe for the car bodies. Let's go to down and let's select this car body. Let's press R, make rotation keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. Let's change rotation to minus 2 or maybe minus 1. Okay. And let's make the keyframes easy. And go to here. Let's make a static keyframe and go to 10 keyframe again. Let's change rotation to plus 1. And let's go to here. Let's make a static keyframe again and go to 10 keyframe. Let's change it to minus 0 0.5 and go to here. Let's make a static keyframe and go to 10 keyframe again. Let's change it to plus 1.5. Let's see it. Let's select this keyframe and move to here and go to 10 keyframe. Let's make it 0. And select this keyframe, let's copy it and paste to here. Let's see now. Okay, let's do the same for the police car and select the car body too. Okay, let's go to here and press R, make rotation keyframe. Let's go to 10 keyframe and let's change it to minus 1. And select keyframes, let's make them easy. And select this keyframe, let's copy it. Go to here and paste it and go to 10 keyframe again. Let's change it to 0. Let's see this part. Okay, let's make a static keyframe and go to 10 keyframe. Let's make it plus 1. And let's copy it. Go to here and let's paste it. And go to 10 keyframe again. Let's change it to 0. And let's go there again. Let's make it minus 1. Now let's copy it. Let's paste to here. Let's go to 10 keyframe and change it to 0. Let's see it. Let's select this keyframe and let's move it to the left a little bit. Let's see now. 
Or maybe let's select this last three keyframes. Let's make them like this. Let's see now. Okay, nice. And now let's make an animations for the clouds. Let's select all these clouds. Let's go to first keyframe, press P, make position keyframes. Let's go to the end and let's move them to the left like this. Now let's select one by one and let's make them randomly. Let's keep the clouds really like this and change the cloud 4 and cloud 5. And now let's go to the down and select this moon. Let's go to effects presets and let's search for glow again. And let's double click to it to add a glow effect. Let's zoom a little bit. And let's change the glow radius a little bit like this. Okay, 50 is good. Now select this moon, press P, make position keyframe, and let's move it like this. And let's move it behind these buildings. Okay, and let's move this keyframe to the first second. And let's move the moon like this. Let's see the animation again. Okay, the moon is kind of fast, so to fix that, let's select this keyframe and let's make like this. Let's see now. Also, let's select these clouds and right mouse, let's precompose them to clouds and let's move them to the behind these buildings. Let's see. Okay, nice. So guys, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe channel and leave a comment in my video. See you in the next videos.